The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the November 16th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I can make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today you and I are gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. Well, go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 8 o'clock in the morning. That's right. If you're listening at the normal time, we're recording today's show between 8 and 9. Thanks so much for joining us in whichever slot you're in. We'll try to make today's show as pertinent as we can for that one to two time frame. Tomorrow we'll be back to uh, normal programming. Uh, so let's go take a look at the markets. Now, hey, I would love to hear from you. So if you're listening live, you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you're listening live and you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question, and of course, in our Tigers Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Less Show. So as we begin our day, we can see U.S. equity futures are basically flat out here. The Nasdaq's up three. The S&P's up two. The E-mini's down uh, for the Russell's up two. And uh, where's the Dow? Give me a second here. There we go. The Dow futures up uh, 62 points. Over in Asia last night, a bit of a mixed bag. The Shanghai down 12. The Nikkei up 31. The Hang Seng up 322. Now we're going to go see what all these signals or patterns or what this price movement has meant. We'll take a look at those charts momentarily. In Europe right now, both the DAX and the FTSE are trading to the upside. Gold's up 940. It's attempting to form a new daily profile. Price is trading into that level. Silver is up 31 pennies, trading out at 2542. Natural gas up 17 cents. That's a nice move out there. 30-year Treasury up seven ticks, trading at 160.15. U.S. dollar index up 17 ticks. That's trading at 95.57. The U.S. dollar index, I do have a 10-minute delay on that. So what's all this mean, jelly bean? Well, let's go take a look at the international markets first. We're going to switch uh, charts out here. And momentarily, you'll see a set of white background charts that pop up. In the upper left-hand corner is the Shanghai. So we want to understand, you know, where markets kind of work in tandem with each other. We can get look for signals out here. So in the case of the uh, Shanghai, it has a wave number seven and a road in a TD9 count bottom pattern that is out there. Price is likely targeting the 3762 area. That's its TD9 breakdown area. Last night, what we saw is price pull back to test a key level of support. And that's its oscillator and change line, which is uh, red. If price were to close below that tomorrow, that's as we uh, move back down to uh, test the uh, lows, or we should move back down, or it should move back down to test lows from last week. If it holds this area, that 3762 up to the upside would be its message. In the case of the Hang Seng, it's much easier. This forms. A buy the D point pattern. Uh, it now is yesterday. What it did was it generated a signal of a new A to B equals CD to the upside. The price target inside the Hang Seng is at first price target is its resistance level of 26,234.94 to be exact to the penny. But we don't try to be exact to the penny around here. That is where price is likely targeting. In the case of the Nikkei, it has an A to B equals CD to the upside as long as price remains above its green oscillator and change line, which is where it's at. That's currently printed at 29.15. Last night's lows 29.808. Suggest to move up into the 30,000. 600 area. If you take a look at the DAX, the DAX also has an A to B equal CD pattern. Could complete at any point. The completion of this pattern would be would re requires an a uh, bearish reversal candle. Now the retracement, even though I don't have it measured here from that B to C leg, is very small. So this could end up being more than a one to one A to B equal CD to the upside. However, today is going to form bar number nine of a TD nine count in the TD nine pattern. 
What we know is that the high needs to form or can form on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. That says we could see a higher high tomorrow with this pattern. Now, because there's an A to B equals CD present, the ideal thing would be to have a TD9 count top, a bearish reversal candle, and then all that that would guarantee us would be at least price moving back to test its oscillator and change line, currently printed at 16.075. Price would need to close below that level in order to suggest lower price. So right now, the DAX is saying, okay, I've got a top that uh, should form today or tomorrow. Nikkei is saying, I don't know what top you're talking about. I'm headed to 30,600. The Hang Seng is saying, I don't know what top you're talking about. I'm headed to 26,234. And the uh, Shanghai right now is could is giving us a signal. The read on it right now is 37.62, a move higher. How about the FTSE? The FTSE on Friday confirmed a sell the D point. It did that with that uh, dark cloud, bearish dark cloud cover candle. However, what price has been unable to do is close below its green oscillator and change line. That leaves the FTSE in a neutral position. Now, if price gets above, closes above the high high from uh, last week. Uh, that high, by the way, is, uh, that's Friday's high, by the way. That would be 7402.68. It will negate that pattern. U.S. dollar index, we can see it's moving higher, doing so with less relative energy, not an issue unless we see a bearish reversal candle. There's also an A to B equals CD. To the upside, I don't show that here, but we'll take a look at that on one of my other chart panels. So U.S. dollar index suggesting it wants to move higher. The euro suggesting it wants to move lower. No bottom in sight there. The uh, Japanese yen, U.S. dollar Japanese yen, it does have a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. But right now, price is trying to take out that green oscillator and change line. Uh, just a few ticks above where we're trading right now. And if price can close above that area, a run for its prior high is likely may take out that TD9 count topping signal. So that's what's going on when we take a look at the markets overseas. Where do we want to go to next? I'd say the U.S. equity futures to see what kind of signals they're providing us. So as we do that here, you'll see the ES mini in the upper left-hand corner. And right now, you'll see that each of these, by the way, they do have topping patterns. They remain in place out here. Not until they get negated, uh, was is that going to give us any sign of a clear move to the upside out here? So right now, the ES mini has a TD9 count top. And price looked like it uh, was signaling to us yesterday and the day before that it wanted to go to test those all-time highs or the top of its daily profile, not shown here. Uh, but right now, we've got price below that green oscillator and change line. And if price remains below that level, it's not that many ticks above where we're trading. That level, by the way, that we're watching is 46.84. We're at 46.81, basically. But if price remains below that 46.84 level, we could see a further move lower out here. We'll take a look at some of those price target areas momentarily. In the case of the NQ, it, too, is trading just below uh, the green oscillator and change line. If it can, it's closed above it for two consecutive sessions yesterday and on Friday. So I would not be surprised to see price overtake that level. Uh, but if it does not, that suggests a further move lower. That move lower inside the NQ, we'd be looking at probably the 16.020 area. That's the top of its daily profile. Inside the Dow Equity Future contract, struggling. Uh, more, more has more of a struggle in the ES, the NQ, or the Russell 2000. The TD9 count top, you can see, price has never been able to take out that green oscillator and change line on Friday nor yesterday, uh, and, and this stage here, nor today. Resistance, 36,143. The Russell 2000, it's got a sell the D point. I've got wave number seven as well out there. It prices below its oscillator and change line. Closed below it yesterday, below it today. Two consecutive closes would say, you know, expect a, a retracement. Now, that retracement just may be back to last week's low. Maybe it's uh, below that level out here. So we get back from this breakout here. What we'll do is we'll put those profile levels on our screen out here for the four equity future contracts. Of course, I would love to hear from you. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. 
Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Thanks for joining us, whether you're listening live at 818 in the morning on uh, Tuesday morning or at 118 in the afternoon. Right now, what we've got up on our screen out here are the four equity future contracts along with their TAS market profiles. And those become support areas to watch, whether price moves uh, to the downside or resistance levels to watch if price moves to the upside. So in the case of the ES Mini, it's a bullish structured profile. And that suggests when price closes above the center, which it is above the center, which is 46.66, that suggests a run for its high, and that's at 47.11. We took a look uh, before this segment at the oscillator and change line, and if price can get above that area, that would be its a signal. If it doesn't, the downside support area first would be that center profile level, 46.66, and below that, 46.35. In the case of the NQ, with price above the top of its daily profile, yet just below that oscillator and change line, which we looked at earlier, uh, it's got a topping pattern, so its signal is really mute more of a, a neutral type of uh, signal. But that's why in the case of the NQ, that oscillator and change line is so important. Two consecutive closes the last two days above that level. If it regains that area today, suggest a run for its all-time high. In the Dow, Dow Equity Future Contract, also has a bullish structured daily profile. Now, this is more bullish in structure than the ES. You can see clearly here the center much closer in proximity to the bottom than to the top. This suggests that the Dow wants to run up to the 36,293 level. However, we looked at the other chart. Remember that oscillator and change line? That was its real resistance level. So price has to clear that before we can get up to 36,293. In the case of the Russell out here, um, it has not been able to clear the center of its bearish structured profile. That's what it tried to do yesterday, 2425. So you know that to be a real key level of resistance out here. The sellers are between 2425 and 2460. I wish I could be more uh, specific. Uh, that's a specific, uh, that's the range. And we saw yesterday when price got up to that range area, 2425, that's where the selling took place. So if sellers are still uh, going to push price lower, then 2372 would become the target. That's the bottom of its profile. If we just take a quick peek here, it's 820 in the morning. If we just take a quick peek and uh, get a feel for just what's going on in general across the globe out here. Here's my uh, market update chart that I usually use at, uh, or that I do use at one o'clock. I'll use it again this morning at uh, nine. 
when I uh, when I do that little segment out here. But this gives us just a quick view uh, of several instruments as to what's going on. So we've really covered the ES Mini and the NQ. No reason us up on the upper top, uh, upper left, and upper right. No reason to spend time there. But if we do take a look at the spot volatility, as you can see it's trading below its 50-day uh, exponential moving average. That's 1761. And price right now is trading at 1672. As long as price remains below 1761, the spot volatility index that is, that's a wind at the uh, sales for the S&P 500 suggests that price should move higher. The U.S. dollar index, here's your A to B equals CD pattern. The first price projection, 9605. Only about a 47% retracement in that B to C leg. Prices on the left side of that C to D leg, that suggests more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. To the upside, that should take the U.S. dollar index into the 9681 area, one step at a time. In the case of gold, I've got several different A to B, two different A to B equals CD patterns out here. This one's showing us the small one. Here, in an A to B equals CD pattern, we need a bearish reversal candle to confirm its top. If we don't get that, price should continue higher. <laughs> in fact, I'll just expand this out. Again, this is the, well, it was the, I uh, guess it went away. I'll just have to retype it in here. Not a problem. So here's what I wanted to <coughs> share with you on this. So here's the smaller one that I'm going to put in. This is the conservative A to B equals CD pattern. And what you'll see or what you should notice, much like we took a look at on the U.S. dollar index. See how price is trading on the left side of that C to D leg? Its retracement here was 61%, so very close to a normal Fibonacci, but and, and which would have suggested maybe this is going to do a one-to-one -one area. But we have to watch which side of that C to D leg. And this is the important thing here, folks. I just share this with you. If you do draw the A to B equals C D pattern, you can just do it with lines out there. Make sure that the angle of that line matches exactly the angle of that A to B line when you're drawing it. So copy and paste, don't just willy-dilly it, or you can willy-dilly it, it just won't have any meaning for you. Here it has meaning. That meaning was it's trading on the left side, which is the strong side, and that price should do more than a one to one A to B equals CD. Well, in the case of gold, it's now gotten up to the 1.272. So hence, you can go back to the US dollar index and say, oh, I see what Stevie's talking about, that it's likely to do with the US dollar, that is, more than a one to one A to B equals CD, the upside. And of course, somebody out there might say, well, wait a minute, Stevie, that doesn't even make any sense. You're telling me that gold and the US dollar are moving higher? And my answer to you is, yeah, absolutely. And that's a beautiful thing. In fact, that tells you just how strong Goldilocks is. Now, <laughs> while we've been doing this segment here, the uh, new profile that's attempting to form just shut down. So it's come, it's gone, and uh, and because I'm using my advanced Doppler tool out here, that's to be expected. Uh, but uh, price was trading right in. So I know that sellers are sitting around the 1878 level just because that's a profile that was attempting to form. Uh, but if it doesn't form, today is going to become bar number nine, I believe, of a TD9 count. So gold could form a short-term top between today and tomorrow. Much like the uh, DAX out there, because the A to B equals CD pattern is in place, you'd love to see um, a bearish reversal candle just to confirm those tops and then where bright price pulled back to well from a profile standpoint the first level that I would be looking at inside of gold would be 1838 that is the top of the weekly profile that it's now above we'd like to see it close above that profile come Friday it's only Tuesday out here but uh, did close above it last week and second close above it this week would be a bullish signal for Goldilocks let's shrink this up here you've got silver also in an A to B equal CD pattern it too is showing the potential for a new daily profile much like it did yesterday that didn't take hold today's profile shows resistance at 2549 we will not get confirmation of the top of that pro or the profile itself until this evening at 601 but what we do know is that price is up at a resistance area this uh, advanced Doppler system it's good at picking up an identity identifying and targeting where the sellers are. And right now they're at the 2549 level. If price can clear that, you can see an A to B equals CD to the upside that's underway. Silver does not have a TD9 count top yet. That could happen over the course of the next couple of days. But in order for that to happen, we need to see a spike above the high of 2492. Today's high is 20, oh, hold on, what did I say? 2547, my apologies, 2547. Today's high so far, 25, oh, 2549. We did get a spike above it. So now silver has got a potential TD9 count top. So what this is just telling us, we have a what, what would look like a short-term top between today and tomorrow inside of uh, gold and silver. If we take a look at light speed crude, each of the moves lower have been able to find support at the bottom of the daily profile. There's a new profile that is also attempting to form. This one looks pretty solid. And the uh, top of the profile is 83.17. That's where sellers reside. The bottom is 79.56 out here. Uh, now, 
Lightspeed crew does have a topping signal. I don't recall our topping pattern. I don't recall which one it is, but just sideways movement out here. Just a little consolidation that is ongoing as we speak right now. In the case of natural gas, it has two A to B equals CD down patterns that were confirmed. They were confirmed on the trading day of November the 11th. That was a bullish reversal candle. Uh, yesterday was a test of that support level established by that bullish reversal candle. That was the low from November 10th. Price moved out of there. Brand new bullish structured profile. Price has made its way up to resistance. And that's at the 529 area. So we've got a Gertley buy pattern inside natural gas. And if price can close above 529, tells us about a change in trend. With regard to the 30-year treasury, it has a sell the D point. And that took price right back to support. The bottom of that daily profile, 160, even Steven. You got to love these profiles, at least I do, because they help us understand where buyers and sellers are, why price does what it does. And that's really what we're trying to do. Steve Rhodes with TFN, 826 in the morning. Thanks so much for joining us live. If you are listening to the reported show, we'll do everything we can to help you out. Dow Futures up 62, S&P up 2, Goldilocks up 8 bucks. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. we got a couple questions that have uh, come in. Uh, one from uh, Hector. Hector wants to take a look at a couple different instruments. The first one is American Tower. That's what we have up on the screen here. AMT is the uh, ticker symbol, in case you're following along. And uh, Hector's uh, asking about uh, A to B equals CD patterns. He and Patty would like to take a long position in this. And so what happened yesterday, I think they bought out somebody or they're in, in, this, in the price of, of the shares of uh, – 
American Tower moved lower, and they moved lower with volume. Now, what they did yesterday was they tested and rejected a hammer candle. The hammer candle is right back here, swing point as well. Uh, that was the uh, swing point and hammer candle from the trading day of October 13th. That only had volume of 1.6 million shares. Yesterday, the move was with about 3.5 million shares. So tested and rejected that level. The preference would be to see a test and rejection of a swing point on lighter volume. So you really need to let today play out. I know you'd like to nibble out here. And if price can test 259.32, do with lighter volume, you, you might have a trade here. But if we take a look at the weekly chart, I know you're looking at some different A to B equals CD patterns on the daily time frame, Hector. And I love that you're trying to master this program and this and the, or the A to B equals CD pattern that is. And it is somewhat subjective. It becomes less subjective when you go to larger term time frames. And so what I mean by that is if I take a look at the weekly time frame, that's our center panel out here, the move is much clearer. So we've gotten rid of a bunch of the noise. So the only A to B equals CD pattern that could form is one that's present right now, and we would need to see a close below 259.32 on Friday. No, and now we're pushing down amongst that swing point with volume, that's for sure. The weekly swing point only had volume of 8.5 million. We're already at 3.4 for the week, so it's pushing into that level with volume as well. But only a close below 259.32 is going to confirm that we would have an A to B equals CD to downside with or without volume. And should that occur, and it looks like that could occur out here, so you'd want to really hang back in my opinion, uh, what the charts are telling us, Hector, uh, that A to B equals CD, the one to one takes us to 246, the one to 1 1.272, 234. When we look at the monthly time frame chart out here, what we see is a bullish structured profile with support between 229 and 239. So that would be the preferred buy area. Of course, we'd like to see some bottoming patterns on a daily time frame. Uh, chart as price is moving down there. We do not have any kind of daily bottoming signals. In fact, let's take a look at our daily time frame with my white background charts. What we'll see is price yesterday also closed below a TD9 breakout level of 265.07. Typically, you close below one, at least for two consecutive days or two consecutive sessions. That says you go to the next one. The next one here would be 241 out there. So price right now is found support most certainly at that uh, bullish hammer candle, that Rhodes momentum indicator signal. But volume is just pushing down too much to suggest trying to get in on a weekly basis. Out here, no, no bottoming signal at all on the daily time frame, nor do we have one on the weekly time frame. Most certainly we do not have one on the uh, monthly time frame. So Hector and Patty, my suggestion here is even if you see this bounce, it's trading a little bit higher in the pre-market out here, I would be patient on American Tower based upon what we just took a look at. So I hope that that helps you out. I also know you wanted to take a look at Qualcomm out here. QCOM is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's go see what this is doing. And I think your question was, uh, if you have time, it Qualcomm's at an A to B equals CD to the upside. So on a weekly basis. So let's go take a look at it. Wow. Um, the big rocket ship uh, two weeks ago. Mm, no, it's really not. So it, there is a potential for an A to B equal CD. Right now, it's just really a consolidation. It's a very really clear consolidation on the weekly profile uh, and the weekly uh, chart out here. So let's draw that consolidation in. We'll also draw on the potential of an A to B equal CD. But this is really the pattern that's in place out here. We've got uh, several uh, tops that have held. So the top of the consolidation, relatively clear. The bottom of the consolidation, relatively clear as well. The question becomes, where does Qualcomm uh, finish uh, this week? And I would say if price closes above, well, you know, if I were to make it real tough, not really tough, if price closes above 167.94, then what we would have is a breakout of this consolidation pattern. And the cool thing about a consolidation is that it provides us with a measure move, equal to or greater than the consolidation. So all I'm going to do is copy and paste that. And then just simply place this. Either we can place it to the top or the bottom. Sometimes I do both. In this case here, we'll just take a look at the top. So what this is giving us is a price projection at about the 212-ish type area out there. Now, the A to B equals CD pattern. If price is able to close above that high that we looked at, that was the 167.94 level. And if you could do that with more than 27 million shares, that would give you a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside on the weekly basis. Hector, that would look like this, our A point down here on March of 2020. Let's actually get that to grab. There we go. 
the B point, that swing point that we're looking at from January of 2021, and the C point all the way back here, the low took place on October the 11th, the week of October 11th. Your one to one would take in a 232 area. So you've got a consolidation pattern. If you get a confirmed breakout inside of Qualcomm, it says about the 211, 212 area. Remember, a breakout of a consolidation is a measured move equal to or greater than the A to B equals C to that takes you up to 232. That likely is the uh, target out there. So, Hector, um, thanks so much for writing in and uh, joining us this morning. I hope that helps both you and Patty out, and we'll look forward to uh, speaking with you again. We got a question inside the Tiger's Den to take a look at one of the uh, den's favorite stocks, and that is uh, Saba. Cassava Sciences out here trading out at uh, 6051, trading with inside a bearish structure daily profile. I believe that was SNP in the den who wanted to take a look at Saba. That suggests to us that price should pull back to the 4796 area. The real support on this, we have a bullish structured weekly profile. Uh, so that would say 4511 to 5121, while well, 4796 is square right in the middle of that that looks like a uh, an area for price to pull back let's go take a look at the uh, Saba's white background chart see what else we see yesterday's was a close below its green oscillator and change line that should have held if this was bullish you can see how that oscillator and change line had changed color from red to green typically when that happens we see price stall we see price pull back to test that level it did not test that level yesterday. It rejected that level by by closing below it. Another signal that price should pull back to the 47.96, 43.11 is its TD9 breakout area. So it looks like that really becomes the target range. 43.11 to 47.96. If price closed below 43.11, then you've got problems in River City. The weekly time frame chart out here, what kind of signals do we have on Cassaba as we speak right now? I do have wave number seven. That does not get confirmed until you see a lower high. This is a weekly chart that we're looking at, so you wouldn't get a confirmation of that until uh, Thanksgiving or the day after Thanksgiving out there. Uh, the monthly time frame chart, oh, I don't have Cassava, it's Google. Sorry about that. No wonder that didn't make any sense. S-A-V-A. -A. Thank you, Dan. I see that. I guess I don't have these uh, daily, weekly, and monthly uh, charts uh, connected to each other. So back here to the weekly time frame chart. <laughs> Um, 3605 needs to hold. That is the breakout area on Cassava Sciences. If it uh, moves below that, well, I don't really have a price target. I do have a price target. I just won't share it with you, even though that price target is $1.22. I guess I just shared it with you. That's not what Stevie is saying. But if price did close below 3605, that is exactly what Stevie is saying with regard to the weekly chart out here. On a uh, monthly basis, S A V A. I can see I've got to make a little change here during the break. Doesn't look too bad, but if you see a close below 53.12, again, it's a monthly time frame chart out here, that would suggest lower price. So back to the daily with regard to the cassava sciences out here, very likely targeting the 43.11 to 47.96 area. I hope that helps you out, S&P Insider, Tiger's Den. Of course, I would love to hear from you as well. That's if you're listening at 8.30 in the morning because we're recording the show. Uh, for playback between 1 to 2, 877-927-6648, or you can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com, but do it soon. We'll be right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, U.S. equity futures. you got the Dow up 75 points right now, NQ17, ES5. Russell is down uh, two. Spot volatility still below its 50-day exponential moving average. It's trading out at 1671. We are recording this show between 8 and 9, so it's 842 in the morning. Thanks so much for joining us at 142 in the afternoon out there. we got a question that's coming from our Tigers Den, and that is to take a look at ticker symbol PTRA. We're going to the PTA out here. That is Proterra Inc. This is for Dan and the Tigers Den. So Pro Terra Inc. is a nice consolidation pattern out here. Um, and what's great about this is if price can close above on a uh, couple, two close, two closes. Price can close above 1258. Last night's close 1251. If you get two consecutive closes above that, that's going to give us our consolidation breakout signal and would suggest to move into the 1620 type level. On a weekly time frame chart, we can see that price is above the top of that weekly profile. That took place last week. Second close this week suggests higher price. And so we've got our consolidation pattern. So that's pretty easy. Let's pull over our white background chart, see what additional information we can glean. So we also see at 1244, that's a TD9 breakdown level. So another area that if price closed above, you got one yesterday, that 1251 close, uh, suggests that we have a, a breakout going on. That would then say price could move up to the 1760 level. I would use that consolidation breakout as the first up set of price targets out there, but 1760 is certainly in its sights as well. On a weekly time frame, what additional information do I have? Not much other than 1840. On a longer term basis, this does have a nice TD9 count bottom that is formed. Again, that ticker symbol is PTRA. That is for Dan. So everything looks good. He just needed to really bust through that consolidation for it to look really good. Let's go out to New Buffalo, Michigan and speak with Gary. Gary, thanks so much for joining us this morning. How are you? Hey, Steve. -O. Great to talk to you. How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. Uh, better now that I hear your voice out here. And uh, New Skin, which is uh, one of Gary's favorites, I believe, is uh, what we're talking about. Trading out at 46.53 and, uh, and close of, well above its daily profiles out there. In fact, above its weekly profiles. And looks like it's at least headed to 48.15 next. But how can I help you, Gary? Well, yeah, that's what I want to cut. We talked uh, before when it was bottoming around the 40 uh, level. And you gave me some numbers, uh, basically past the 43, and then up to in the round into that 53 was the kind of the the bigger, uh, I think, the more the weekly time frame. Um, 
Uh, and I was just trying to get a little bit better handle on where we're at now at this point and where we're headed, in your opinion. Sure. Okay, okay, great. So uh, new skin right now in the pre-market, eh, not much really traded, so we're not going to spend any time on that. So we won't go there. So here's what we, I think the charts that are most important for new skin, and I'll just go right to them right now, is the uh, is the daily time frame chart for you. And, and today really is important, uh, sort of important, because yesterday was the confirmation of a TD9 count top. Now, that would say you would expect or anticipate some type of retracement, a retracement to where? Well, in this case here, it'd be between a 42.7 to 4307 level should that unfold now the other side and the reason why i went to take a look at the pre-market because if price is able to close above its high the high from yesterday which is 46.83 that pattern will get negated and that will tell you about a strong upward momentum move and that strong upward momentum move would take you to 51.32 first and 53.87 second those are the daily td9 breakdown levels um and let me just take a quick peek here at the weekly the weekly chart's got that nice roads momentum indicator bottom. And that suggests that move up to 53.83. So all of that looks good. So watch the TD9 count. Now, if, as I look to the intraday time frame charts out here, I've got a roads momentum indicator signal, but not confirmed from a topping standpoint on the 30-minute chart. The same with regard to the 65-minute chart. The same with regard to the 130-minute chart. The same with regard to the 195 minute chart. So the signal's out there that it's attempting to form some type of top, but nothing has been confirmed. Until it gets confirmed, that suggests that price could move higher. So watch yesterday's high. It doesn't have to close above it today. If it does that tomorrow or the next day, it negates that pattern and then gives you that clear signal up to 5132. But otherwise, I would say prepare for some type of retracement out here. The only reason why I'm cautioned not even saying that is because I don't have anything confirmed on the short term time frames. Does that make sense what I shared with you? Totally makes sense. Totally makes okay. sense. Okay. And thank you cool. for all the cool. education. Yeah, cool. So, uh, you know, and I know you're going to stick with this. Uh, I believe you're going to stick with this long term. Uh, if you're looking to reload or something like that, if you get that retracement and price pulls back that 42.78, especially if we could find short term bottoming patterns on the intraday timeframes, that's when I would fire away on uh, this as well. So, anything else that I can help you with on new skin or anything else? No, that. That's it. Um, now you, you've, you've uh, covered my talent here yesterday. So be well and uh, make it a great day. Have some fun. Perfect. Perfect. You too. That was Gary in New Buffalo, Michigan. So about uh, three minutes before we go to the next break, uh, I don't believe there are any other questions that are in. I say I take that back. Satish wants to take a look at GP. So let's get take a look at the general practitioner out here and see what it is doing. Actually, GP stands for Green Power Motor, meter, I'm going to go with um, MTR. And uh, so what does Satish need? Says Steve GP, please. Okay, so here's what we know right now about Green Power MTR. It's consolidated with inside its daily profile. Satish, that ranges from 1380 to 1480. 1380 is a key level of support. If you see a close below that, that's going to suggest a move to 1270 to 1332. The reason why I say that is because it's a bullish structured profile. Nothing more bearish than a failed bullish pattern. So if 1380 doesn't hold, it did hold, it did held, it did hold yesterday. It did held yesterday? Stevie, come on, go to grammar school. All right, so it did hold yesterday, but if it does fail, that's when it suggests moving back into that bullish structured weekly profile. So let's go take a look at GP on Stevie's other charts, the white background chart, see if there's any other signals out here for Satish and I. And the answer is uh, no. Now, if price closes below 1380, what that would suggest to us is price would make its way back to its breakout level. And that would be 1252. Uh, so I see a, you know, and I wasn't a sell the D point, eh, maybe. Uh, so here's what I would do. So it's a teach. I don't know if you're trying to get in it, if you're in it or what have you. If I were trying to get in it, you know, 1252 is the number I'd be looking at as we speak right now. That would be the better um, entry area into this instrument. If price can close above 1480, so you've got the other side of that. If it closes above 1480, then the signal would be moved to about 1757. Uh, weekly chart out here. Any information to help us out? Not really a ton more than what we've already looked at. Monthly chart, no. Intraday charts just for any kind of signal. Not really much out here to assist us. So Satish, we're just back to that daily profile 
for the most part. So watch 1380. It closed below that. Again, you're looking at about the 1252 level. So I hope that helps you out. And thanks so much for the uh, request. We do have a request from our YouTube channel. That's a wonderful thing. That YouTube, it's Yvonne in the YouTube channel. Watch, take a look at uh, Kuzi, Vuzi. V U Z I V U Z I. I guess Koozie, you know, a beer on my mind. That's that's not the case. I, alcohol doesn't taste very good to Stevie these days, since I don't have much taste, which most of you already knew. I didn't have any taste, and uh, certainly uh, nothing in the way of uh, smell. So that's a. It's not such a good thing. Although yesterday I found out that was a really great thing for my diabetic retinopathy. A really good thing out there. It turns out that uh, getting COVID and losing my taste and smell was a uh, real positive for that. It has uh, stopped that uh, stopped that uh, cycle almost altogether, at least at this stage. So with regard to Vuzi out here, we'll cover this when we get back to this break. Price above the top of its daily profile, weekly profile. That's a beautiful thing. Maybe signaling to move to 3243, closed yesterday at 1461. We'll be right back. Finish off, take a look at Vuzi, V-U-Z-I-X Corp. Be right back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at that ticker symbol, V-U-Z-I, on a daily basis. And it formed a nice roads momentum indicator bottom uh, pattern. 
Uh, that actual pattern uh, went ahead and completed back on October the 5th, and then price just simply moved sideways, really broke out. So uh, the move on, on uh, Friday, nice move, was a close above a TD9 breakdown resistance here at 1482. Yesterday, price moved back into that level. So you'd love to see, Yvonne, a close above 1482, uh, two consecutive closes above that would generate a signal of a move up to the 1933 to 1953 area. Those are two additional TD9 breakdown areas. The weekly chart out here for Vuzi, uh, what does this show us from a pattern standpoint? Um, I don't have a signal as to why it formed a bottom. Doesn't matter. It did price above its weekly profile. And this suggests move to 1933. So you got 1933. 1933 on the daily and on the weekly. So you want to really watch that 1482 out there. It does have a Rhodes momentum indicator signal trigger, but no bearish reversal candle, and therefore uh, not anything to worry about just yet. Monthly chart, positive there. Not only is it above uh, the center of its bullish structure profile, right now it's trading above its green oscillator and change line. So uh, Vuzi looks uh, pretty nice out there. And, um, you know, if this did pull back, and somebody was looking to get into it, uh, the area that I would be looking at is about 1289. That's a green oscillator on change line out there. So, folks, thanks so much for joining me between 8 and 9. Always good to be with you uh, as we take a look at the uh, what's going on again here in the uh, futures markets. Uh, you got a mixed bag. You've got the Dow equity futures. They're up 62. The NASDAQ is up 7. The S&P is up uh, one point out here. The Russell's down three. We're not getting a real clear signal out here with regard to what the equity futures want to do. What should you watch today? That's pretty easy. Maybe watch that spot follow till next. If price were to close above the 50-day exponential moving average, that's price at 1761. That says that we would see lower price inside the S&P 500, the ES mini. And if price remains below it, we've got a sideways to upward moving market. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien, he'll be up next. And if you're uh, listening to the 1 o'clock show, David White will be up with the Power Trading Hour. I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks. Building wealth 